Hello everyone and thanks for joining today's webinar. We're going to be going over the self-learning materials available within DataGuru and talk about how you can be successful on your DataGuru journey. My name is Austin Timmer and I'm the Associate Product Manager on the DataGuru team. Over the last year and a half, the team has been hard at work creating a new set of enablement materials to make sure you are successful in your use of DataGuru. The goal of this webinar is to make sure you are aware of all these materials and accelerate you on your road to product mastery. I'll quickly go over an agenda for today and highlight all of the items that we're going to talk about. I just introduced myself and I'd also like to introduce Bennett Wilkins, Director of Product Management, who will be joining me at the end of the webinar to answer any questions you may have. Next we're going to be going over and introducing all the self-learning materials available. We'll actually be playing back a pre-recorded video which will be used to introduce any new user to the self-learning materials available. In this section we'll talk about elements of success for learning data guru. We'll talk about how you can think about and how you can own your own learning process on your way to becoming a product master. We'll go over the resources and content available to all users. We'll show you how you can access these resources and what each resource will do for you. And while the self-service material is great, depending on your situation, you may want to engage with Llamasoft further. This may be through attending an instructor-led training, a consulting engagement, or maybe contacting our support team. We'll go over all these options in this section. And finally, as mentioned before, we'll be wrapping up the webinar with a Q&A session. At the conclusion of this webinar, we'll be posting a recording to the support site along with a frequently asked questions section. And with that, I'm going to pass it off to Dave and kick off this pre-recorded video, which will introduce you to all the self-learning materials available within DataGuru. Hello, and thanks for tuning in. We're going to briefly talk about how you can be successful using DataGuru, and then we'll walk through all the resources that are at your disposal. There are three elements to being successful in your data blending and analytics journey. The first element focuses on people, making sure they're trained and have learned the base concepts. Any person using DataGuru should first understand data and data blending concepts. Understanding the structure that databases provide, along with the techniques for combining and transforming data, will allow you to go from a simple spreadsheet approach to performing powerful data blending. The second element of success focuses on your approach to solving data challenges. As with any process, the right approach can help mitigate issues. This goes beyond knowing how to apply the tools that perform specific steps and being able to create processes that solve larger problems. It's the important skill of being able to break down large data challenges into easy-to-tackle steps. The third element of success focuses on the technology you're using and having a strong foundation in that technology. DataGuru offers a familiar drag-and-drop interface which enables you to quickly learn and become an expert in the technology. The visual nature also allows others in the organization to understand the processes you've built. Think of DataGuru as a toolbox. There are a set of tools inside that allow you to blend data from multiple sources and extract valuable insights from your data to help drive business processes. Knowing how to use the tools in your toolbox will be sure to make you successful. Let's now walk through the resources at your disposal to make sure you're successful in these three areas. The Intro to Data Blending on-demand course video series can be used to learn data blending concepts and how to think differently about data. If you're new to data or are used to working with spreadsheets, this course can teach you powerful data blending skills and how to apply them using DataGuru. If you have data blending experience, this video series can serve as a good refresher on concepts, provide a framework for thinking about and talking about data, and teach you how to apply data blending concepts using DataGuru. This video series is broken into separate modules and is accessed through the Learning Center. It's very hands-on and includes short exercises to apply the concepts learned. Another cool thing about this video series is that the sections are independent of each other. If you don't want to watch the whole series in order, you can pick a section or topic that you want and follow along with the material and exercises. 
If you want to take advantage of this material, make sure to download and install the latest version of the Learning Center content. Next is the Learning Center. Go to the Learning Center and learn how to use the tools in your toolbox. It includes a large repository of videos covering a variety of topics in every area of the application. For example, there are videos walking you through how to connect to any data source or create any action. You can also get an overview of Data Guru, guide yourself through creating your first project, see an example application of every action, and quickly get answers to your questions about any area of the application. The Learning Center is a standalone application that can be launched from Data Guru or on its own. It's important to note that there is a separate installer to get all of the Learning Center video content. When you install Data Guru, make sure to also download and run the Learning Center content installer after installing the main application. Suppose you're opening Data Guru for the first time and want to get off to a good start. You should first launch the Learning Center. You can start with the welcome video. Then move on to the Getting Started section. Watch the Application Overview video. This will highlight the different elements of the application which are relevant for almost every project. Then move on to the other videos that are in the Application Overview section that will highlight some of the key concepts to grasp in Data Guru. Once you finish those videos, move on to the guided tutorial. Follow along with the step by step video and PDF to create your first project. In the end, you'll have built this complete workflow end to end in 25 minutes. It's best to have two screens to follow along with the video as you build out the Data Guru project. You may instead want to follow along with the completed project. In that case, you can deploy the completed project, then Open it up and follow along. Deploy the completed project by clicking the project link. The project can be deployed by giving it a name and destination file path location. The current file path, Documents Llamasoft Data Guru Projects, is the default location that Data Guru will use to store projects. This will also be the default location that Data Guru goes to when you select to open an existing project. This makes it easy to retrieve and open projects that are stored in this location. However, you don't have to use this location if you want to store your projects in a different spot. I'll click Create to deploy the project. The template project successfully deployed. Now, to access it, we can go to the destination location and open up the project file by double-clicking it. Double click the macro and we can see the completed version of the guided tutorial. When watching the guided tutorial video, you can use this completed project as a reference. However, we recommend that you follow along with the video step by step from a new project. You now understand how to create a project and have a good feel for the application. Next is learning the data and data blending concepts. Or maybe you're already familiar with data and data blending concepts but want to see how you can leverage Data Guru's actions to apply these concepts. Either way, your next step is the Intro to Data Blending video series. The introduction page lists out the instructions and an overview of the videos contained in each section. Here you can deploy the Data Guru project that's used for all of the exercises, as well as the slides shown in this video series. Just like in the Getting Started section, you can progress section by section watching all the videos in each section in the listed order. You also have the option of jumping around to watch the videos for a particular topic or exercise. Now you have the data concepts down and know how to apply them. You may want to learn how to use the rest of the tools or actions Data Guru has to offer and see additional applications of these actions. Perhaps you want to dig deeper into the actions that can be used for data cleansing. Open up the Application Mechanics section and navigate through the list of application areas to find data cleansing. You can watch the introduction video, which reviews the concepts of data cleansing. Then, move on to the practical application video and deploy the data cleansing project to follow along.
you now know all the concepts and all the actions. At this point, you just have some quick questions. For example, you may want to know how to type expressions. The Quick Reference section contains quick videos explaining all the most common features, including how to type expressions. We also have a library of pre-built template projects that solve typical data challenges. These template projects have several use cases. The first is for learning how to approach larger data challenges. You can see examples and explore how actions are strung together to create processes that solve larger problems. You can also explore the template projects to learn how to solve specific data challenges. Finally, you can start from a template project, replace the sample data with your own, and build on the template project to expand your analysis. DataGuru comes with a large library of pre-built template projects that are deployable via the Start page, File menu, or Learning Center. Use the templates to learn how to build a supply chain guru model from an Excel template, compare flow in and out of your facilities from shipment data, and process addresses from all around the world coming in different formats. That's just three of the many template projects, a very small subset of the knowledge available here. We can find the list of template projects from the File menu or Start page. Suppose we want to set up a process that compares inbound and outbound flow at all your facilities. We can scroll through the list of template projects and read their descriptions. Here's a relevant project called Analyzing Shipment Data. We can deploy the project by giving it a name as well as a destination file location for the project and all of the example data. Now that the project is deployed and opened, we can open up the macro to view the work surface that contains a sequence of actions and some sticky note documentation. Read all of the sticky note documentation to be introduced to what the project is doing and why. Look in the connections pane to explore and view the source data for this project. We can also open up the directory to view and edit the data files directly. Along with exploring the work surface and source data, we can execute this macro from end to end. After execution, we can now explore some of the output data. As we mentioned before, we can explore and use this template project as a learning tool. But better yet, you can replace the data with your own shipment data to analyze the flow imbalance at your facilities. The final resource included in DataGuru is the help file. The help file provides the details about how to use any part of the application. For example, in the help file, we can find step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure an action or connect to a new data source. Wherever you are in the application, press F1 to bring up the relevant section of the help file. Along with pressing F1, the help file also includes search functionality to find documentation on any specific feature or application area. Suppose we're using this template project as a learning tool and are exploring the partitioned value action here. If we have a question about how to set this up, we can press F1 to bring up the relevant section in the help file. Here we can read about possible applications of this action, follow step-by-step -step configuration instructions, and view a data example of this action applied. I'd like to now highlight all the resources that are available in DataGuru and also introduce some of the services that Llamasoft can provide if you need further assistance. As you've seen, there are several resources available from within DataGuru to make you successful. There's the Learning Center, which contains a large repository of video content, the library of pre-built template projects, and the help file. If you need further assistance using DataGuru or any other products, you have several options. If your organization doesn't have its own internal supply chain design staff, or if your team is over capacity, Llamasoft can deliver a high quality, fully outsourced supply chain design project. If you want assistance through an on-call resource for a few hours per week, leverage our consultant's experience through a coaching and mentoring engagement for your next project. You also have the option to sign up for our instructor-led training if you want more personal training led by one of our experts. Training is offered in regional locations in the U.S., Latin America, and Europe, 
or we'll even go on site to your facility. You can see a list of dates and locations on our website. Finally, for technical support, you can reach out to our world class support team, who is available 24 hours a day, five days a week. They can quickly answer any questions and respond to any obstacles you run into. At the end of the day, your success is our goal. DataGuru is a tool originally created by analysts and for analysts with the goal of getting value out of your data by unleashing the power to source, blend, and analyze data from multiple sources. Since developing this tool, we've doubled down in making sure you're successful by creating these enablement materials. In order to optimize the learning experience, there will be continued investment in developing the Learning Center. We'll continue to generate new and update existing content and continuously improve your interaction with these materials. Finally, there will be continued investment in technology and improvements to enable you to solve more problems. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to take your next step. Dive into the enablement materials and do some learning. Come up with a good approach to your data problem. Finally, use the tools available within DataGuru to create insights and add value to your organization.